Hello, my name is Chris. I've worked years to get to this point. To build my reputation. To call myself a photographer. My special skill is framing things we can't see with our own eyes. It's over in the blink of an eye. With an ordinary camera and iron will to succeed, I will do everything I can to get the perfect picture. So this is my challenge. This is the high speed challenge. What do you think when you hear October? Fall maybe? Ghosts? Zombies? Pumpkins? Hi and welcome to the very first episode of High Speed Challenge. This episode is all about a bloody mess. Now, I got myself a gun with silver bullets, you know, just in case the zombie turns out to be a werewolf too, but actually it's just an airsoft gun with a CO2 cartridge in it. And we will also need some fake blood. This is the setup I will work with today. It's a zombie head and it has blood packages on the back of its head. The thing is, you need to shoot the zombies very accurately so you don't have a fear of the walking dead. I want to frame the bullet exiting the blood package on the back of its head. As you can see, I've made myself a protective case. It's acrylic glass with a hose in the bottom leading to a bucket. This way, I don't have to paint the walls and it collects the fluids in the bucket where I want it. What in the environment can we actually use as a trigger for the camera's flashes? The gun has two elements, the expanding CO2 and the bullet. So what I will do is I will set up a little device that can actually trigger um, loud sound changes in the environment and then fire the flashes. You can see how the flashes fire every time I fire the gun. If you think about budget-friendly movies, then you can actually use that trigger method for a movie to fake gunshots. Here's an example. And welcome to Russian Roulette Review. Today we have American gun. And is it any good? I don't know. Let's find out. We will do this with our special guest, which is Igor. Igor is... What do you call it in English? Let's say... Da... Da... Uh, he is American spa. So he will help us out testing this gun. So how do you prepare your gun to shoot? You put out the magazine and uh, put bullets in. Okay. Now the magazine is in the gun. And then you have to put 
out uh, uh, safety because you want to shoot. So you put on safety. It is quite hard on this girl. I don't know why you need safety. This fear my only safety. So, Igor, you ready? Okay. Uh, let's say, Polvoji Diego. So, Igor, you ready? Okay, ready, sit, and go! You know, the handling of the gun is good. You can't say anything against it. Igor, what did you say? Oh, he says the gun is so good it took his breath away. <laughs> so in the end, gun is good. You wanna buy? Where it comes from? Are you police? Buy it or I'll shoot you. So this was it for a Russian roller review for this time. I hope you had fun as much as I did. Um, see you next time and leave a subscription and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Now with everything set, let's go. All right, that looks good, doesn't it? Now, of course, they need a little bit of adjustment uh, in post-production, but I mean, that's pretty damn cool, right? I hope you learned something. And if you find that interesting, please hit that subscribe button uh, down below somewhere here. And um, if you find it helpful, well, share it with your friends and um, stay tuned until the next episode. Bye-bye.